Here we go once again, once more into the deep, and we're running out of air, and it's getting hard to breathe, but we're gonna dive down to the bottom of the ocean and see what's at the bottom of the ocean. I just made that up. Anyway, Happy New Year. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. Two months ago, when I left you, we were drilling holes for the faceplate to put this stupid thing together. And today, finally, I present a finished product, a 95% finished product, a fully functioning working product, capable of blasting all the power that we need, and that's the most important part. All right, so let me take you on a walk through here and let me show you what's going on first of all. Alright, so here's what we got. First of all, I'd like to show you the back. This is cool, right? This is an old tiny radio from the 40s. It was a tube radio. One of them, whatever, this is a Motorola actually. It was a nice old radio. It had the big thing to dial here, and a little knob here and a knob here. Problem is, it's a tube radio. It had all the wax paper capacitors, everything. I just don't, I barely can keep up with modern technology, much less go back to the vintage stuff. That old, the tube stuff, I'm just, I'm lost. So I, uh, I said, you know, that's it. Let me just move the light here. I said, uh, I'm not, I'm not gonna get into this, but. What can I do with this? So what I did, and I got these little rubber gasket guys here, here, and here, and here, but this one had a hole in it, and I ran a C14 wire, and there's my, so now there's my plug on the outside. I didn't mount one because I didn't, whatever, what I decided that I was gonna do is I didn't wanna cut this box anywhere. So I was gonna run the thing through the hole, so that's why I have this C14 on the outside, but it's still a, a plug. Now, coming over here to, the, to this side, to the back, I used the wood panel. And I just thought the wood panel was, was awesome. Um, it's actually a piece of laminate flooring. So um, it's basically cardboard with a nice uh, wood grain on it. So there's our power switch. Here, what happens is you get to choose between 3.3, 5, or 12 volts, uh, which is kind of high right now, but it, it'll come down when you put a load on it. And, and you plug in here. Oh, this was the main power. And because it's got that weird uh, five, uh, the, that weird short circuit, I can't get power to the little light. To, and that's okay because, <laughs> let me show you in a minute. Anyway, you can switch between 12, 5, or 3.3 volts and you have a jack here. This guy here, right now, is set at 9.5 uh, volts. But it's a, I gotta find knobs for this. Apparently, this is a difficult size to find knobs. Or maybe I just have to get fresh pots and put them there. But anyway. Um, this is a voltage variable, so uh, in and out, and um, or in is uh, it's on a separate 12 volt bus, and I can go down to three volts or up to like 24 or whatever. It's a fully volt variable output here. Now over here, these are just USB ports, which is beautiful. Five five uh, five volts, five volts down here on this knob, and then 12 volts here and 12 volts here, and these are actually on. The bitches switches. Look at that. How, look how bright that is. Can you see that? Pink, 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 pink. Ow. Anyway, um, that. So these. This is always on. I can plug in there. But these, if you want, to turn on and off. These are. Uh, everything's got its own separate fuses in the back, and everything set up on the power supply. I kept everything. I'm not going to open this back up. Now that's one of the things that's not done with this yet. Is I. I haven't found the right screws to screw in to make it run up. The original thing had these, 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 these weird, uh, not a rivet, but it's like a pin kind of thing. Anyway, uh, which held uh, a piece of cardboard on the back. And this is not enough to hold this uh, 3 sixteenths. Yes. Uh, two sixteenths, a quarter inch bigger than a quarter inch. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Anyway. No, three eighths. No, three sixteenths. Two eighths is a quarter bigger than a quarter. I don't know. However wide this was, I forgot. 
thick. And that caused some issues when I did it on the back. Now, if I showed you the back, oh, I should show you the back. I should show you this mess. Anyway, right now all I have is the, the tape. By the way, this is gaffer tape. Do yourself a favor, get some gaffer tape. Don't don't use duct tape unless unless it's duct tape, ducting related. Um, spend the extra money on gaffer tape. Uh, my wife made hoops for a while, so we got all these decorative tapes. But anyway, let's take a look at the inside here. Bum, 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 bum. That's not too bad. Oops. Oh, oh, rat's nest. I like it. So, fuses on everything, separate. 12 volt going into here, that's going into here, with a 5, five volt and a 3 volt going into here, which is separate from the 5 volt that's coming to here and here, which is separate to the 12 volt coming here and here. So, all these are isolated. Um, Obviously, it goes back to the same bus in the, in, in the power supply. But I used a lot of these little, uh, used the heat gun with a little piece of solder in there and, and a shrink wrap. That worked kind of nice. Uh, I did use some shrink wrap here. I uh, started using that a little bit. Not too bad. I used some hot snot on this to hold those in. This was going to be longer because I had a different piece, but eh. Had to order a different part and it came in like that, so that's what I did. I still have a bunch of spare wires, so and this gets tucked up in here. So what I found is while I was trying to set up shots for the camera and find interesting things to do while I was working, and then a couple of times I ran did videos and like I was doing a video where I was splicing something together and I cut my finger three times, three times. Well, the first time I even ignored it, and I just kept working, and the blood was dripping out, and it was just like, all right, I, I guess I can't ignore it. This, this is ridiculous. So, um, I work better without the camera running. I need a cameraman. If anybody knows a cameraman, that's, that's what I need. I need a cameraman. All right, so we're back to this. So there he is. I think it's great. I think it's a great retro look with the wood paneling, even though it's a, um, a modern thing. I, I, I think... Everybody takes their their inspirations from wherever, and this was a fun project. I think everybody needs to do a fun project like this. I think it's uh, important. I think it's very simple project, a beginning electronics project, and everybody, if you're going to get into it, you're going to need a bench power supply. Now, what happened is I got sidetracked working off of other things, and that became a bench warming project until I ran into a couple of situations where I was like, I really need some power here. Oh crap, I could really use some power. So that's where we're at. Now, just to give you a preview of a couple of things that are going on as we go forward. Um, I bought a bunch of stereo equipment. This stuff is still untested here, but uh, I think it's gonna work. Actually, these two things work. This guy does untested, untested. Mr. Kenwood back here is having some problems, but we might get him working. We're going to get this deck working. This deck is, is going to be sacrificial land. This is going to be a nice spot for something. Um, and then over here, we have some tape decks that are, and some radios. These are radio tuners that if you only had an amp, you didn't have a receiver. I always had a receiver attached to mine. So the amp and the radio, the amp always had a radio in it, but apparently not. So I've got a bunch of these. They're perfect to stick in. We're going to we're gonna do some. We're gonna do some experimenting. I ordered. I ordered a bunch of parts here. Let's see if I can do this without too crazy of a whatever. Um, this is like uh, a line mixer. Oops, like a line mixer. And I got a switcher. I'm gonna take that apart and see what how it actually gets put together inside. Um, mini FM transmitter. This is a FM transmitter, came out of a car thing. Uh, this is uh, like an FM, uh, mm, these are Bluetooth modules. Oh, here's an MP3 player. That I'm gonna see, and <laughs> just stick an MP3 player in there. Use those wire, or use the buttons that are already on there. People, maybe we'll use a radio, maybe we won't. What's this one? This one's also an MP3 player, a different design. So I bought a bunch of board 
stuff to see what I could do. I bought a bunch of Bluetooth adapters. I think that's what these are. Bluetooth, right? Yeah. Um, so I got a whole box of crap of electronic parts. Gonna made up with those stereos. Now I went and got some other stuff. This thing, oh, what a piece of crap. You know, it's funny. I think I had one of these when I was a kid and it broke within like five minutes of me having it. And I think I took it back. But anyway, that's okay. I got that with uh, some other stuff. And then the big win was this, this guy right here. This is gonna go inside and be my new, uh, my new receiver. So I got this with that piece of junk that's absolutely worthless. I'm gonna do nothing to it, uh, throw it except throw it away. Uh, and a bunch of mismatched speakers uh, that are gonna do okay. And this is uh, gonna get cleaned up and that's gonna be a new project. To finish that up, CD players did not fare so well, but that's okay. And I guess that's about all I'm gonna say. I just wanna say we've got a lot of projects going on and that's where we're at. And I'm happy that that bench power supply finally came out and did well. Uh, I think another one of the things I'm gonna do is make a 12 volt, five volt rail for behind the TV and get rid of the wall wires. We'll see.